of course. If you've just assembled a weapon out of legend that can exile gods from the world, you'd want to have a scientist or two look at it. And even if they disagreed and he had time, he could ask Calaveras himself. Yes, the observatory would be his objective. Why had the parts of the Sky Ripper only surfaced now, thousands of years after the transcendent Emperor had dismantled it? The mad Emperor Isengrim had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the lost gods. Was that why these ancient artifacts were rising out of the ground? How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. you guys ever learn to swim, Dax? Oh, well, too late. Fresh socks, thought Bernardo. Please be fresh socks. to turn it into something he could use. A legendary weapon was exactly what the Rebellion needed. They were outnumbered. The once kind Emperor had become a tyrant. But his ravens stayed loyal, for he fed them his victims, and the other animals were too frightened to rebel. Renato shuddered at what the Emperor was trying to do. To bring back the Lost Gods, the Black Harvest, the Black Sun? No. He would stop that toad, no matter what the risk. Renato's <sighs> blood was up. He just needed to smash something. The Nexus Observatory had the Empire's most renowned scientists, working by themselves without interference. At least, so far. A very clever engineer named Elon Muskrat had got his start making floating platforms. Not many people knew that. Always a rush. Ooh, Renato hated warlocks. 
The way they stayed back and lobbed pain and death from a distance. Cowards. Really dangerous, effective cowards. <laughs> Renata felt a little better. Renata was thrilled. The scientists seemed to think he'd put the Sky Ripper together right. But one toad was worried. Yeah, he, the, the Sky Ripper could tear a hole in existence itself. There are invisible strings that tie the universe together. Uh, if the Sky Ripper cut one, the hole would widen and widen until our whole existence uh, fell into it. Another toad sighed. Ah, uh, Irving still believes in string theory. At least go see Calaveras. Hmm, yeah, said the worried Toad. He knows more than anyone else has forgotten about the Transcendent Emperor. If anyone could tell him how to use this weapon safely, it would be Calaveras. It was he who had told Renato how to find it in the first place. But maybe he had to give up on using it as a weapon. Maybe he had to go to the secret rebel base and ask the generals there what he could do with a weapon that he dared not use.